Hi, Amy with Experience the Quilt. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to use technology to help you with your quilting. Welcome to Experience the Quilt. We are a long arm quilting business based in the Boise, Idaho area. You can drop off or ship your quilts so that we can finish them for you. We quilt all sizes, no extra charge for batting or thread. Sign up for 15% off with your first order at experiencethequilt.com. So I got this cool jazzy iPad Pro for Christmas. I didn't know my husband was gonna surprise me with it. So of course I had to figure out how I could get it into my quilting business and, and into my art. So I have found out a great way for you to audition the stitches you're going to do on your quilt. Have you ever started quilting something or get started to quilt something and then you freeze? I do that all the time because I realize I really don't know what stitching I want on my quilt. So this is a fantastic way to figure that out. So first you open it up, make sure your camera is exposed, your lenses are exposed, and I'm gonna open up my camera app. And I am just going to um, make sure that it's over my, my hands are not over it, are over my quilt just right. And if you need a chair, you can get a chair. And I'm going to snap a photo. And then if it's a little bit wonky, you can push the edit button and then you can push this little square button here it has a square with arrows and you can fix that you can move it let's see there oh not that way don't want that how about this one there we go and now my quilt is all nice and square. You can also crop your corners if you want to. And then when you're done, you hit done. And now my quilt is all ready for me to audition stitches. So this is the main screen of my iPad. I have found this app called iArtBook. It's my new favorite. I find it's very simple, especially for me to upload pictures into it and play around with them. So I, I'm here in painting and then I click on photo and I go to my pictures and I select the one I want and it opens right up into it. So here is my quilt and I found that I, I, you can choose whatever color you want to use, but one way I have found that worked great to mimic quilting is if you go to the paintbrush and I picked dotted line and it's under, so it's the brush, it's under brushes I remember how else you find it Un but it's under dotted line so I, I pick the dotted line and then I pick a color that I think I might want so I think I want to do this quilt in pink so you can go to here in colors and you can change it to all kinds of colors I found I had to go darker than I thought I wanted to in order to see it on the screen so I then pick a darker color or a brighter color thread than I maybe think I would want normally because I just couldn't see it on the screen very well then over here, you can choose to make the dot larger or smaller. It's probably gonna be pretty small because of that's what stitches are. You can even see some of the stitches on my photo here because I've already stitched out the, this um, bird of paradise. So then I pick a spot and I just started drawing what I thought I might want to draw. And, and I decide, oh yeah, I like that or I don't like that. And, and I, it's a fun way to audition. So going back to, oh, excuse me, to my library, if you hit close, you can see I have other pictures that I've already practiced with. So here's one where I did some pointed feathery lines. I also chose another one where I, I like this one a lot. It's kind of like wavy, but feathery at the same time. Um, I also tried this one and I didn't like it. And I really thought I would like the rays coming out from it, but I didn't prefer it. So you, there's lots of different ways that you can use this, um, but I really found that this is one of my favorite ways to use this new uh, program is iArtBook, and it's on the iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. 